Joining me in studio now is Alfredo Kanse, who's been keeping his glasses and his focus <laughs> keenly on that constituency. Walk us through some of the numbers briefly before we uh, get out of here. So, yes, Alfred, thank you for joining us. Always. So let's go to Nandom straight away. So our correspondent just walked us through what the thoughts of the citizens are. Absolutely. And what they predominantly do. But how do they vote when they go to the polls? Let's go back to the early polling period of 2012. Indeed. And if you hear them talk about the MP now being described as a, a walking ATM machine, these are the sentiments that you have with the people down yeah. there. But Martin, this is a typical skirt and blouse constituency. Mm. In, in, the, in the years that Ambrose Derry won, John Mahama won the presidential in this constituency. Yeah. That tells you that it is primarily an NDC constituency, but whenever there are some differences and issues within the NDC parliamentary, then the NPP capitalizes on those misgivings mm. within the NDC parliamentary, and then they make inroads. But if you look, it was the Laura Nandom constituency. You had uh, Dr. Benjamin Kumbo occupying that a, a lot more of the years um, mm. that we've seen over the period. In fact, when it was demarcated into, from, that's the Laura and the Nandom constituency, right from 2012, the NDC held it for three times and then the MPP never got it. That is when for the this is for the presidential. That's what, when it was carved out of the Laura Nandom constituency. Mm -hmm. So that tells you that even in the year twenty twelve, Dr. Benjamin Kumbo made, made a comeback. He won in the year 2012, mm -hmm. John Mahama won the presidential. In twenty sixteen when Ambrose Derry came again and won. John Mahama won the presidential. In twenty twenty John Mahama won the presidential as well. And when it was even before Nandom, and it was Laura Nandom constituency, that was from 1996 up until the year 2012, mm -hmm. the NDC won the presidential as well with John Evans at Mills and then also the late Jerry John Rollins as well. So yeah. it's for presidential, the, M the NDC has expressed its dominance over the period. Mm. But for the parliamentary, this is where, if you start from 2012, when it was demarcated from, that's the Laura Nandom and, and separated, that's Nandom and Laura, the NPP has won twice and the NDC has won once. Mm. That was in 2012 uh, when uh, that's, uh, Dr. Benjamin Kumbo came, did a comeback because he lost in the 2008 elections, remember? Yes. That was when Ambrose Derry won as well, even though the NDC won the presidential in that election. He did a comeback, won the f again in 2012. Then in 2016, Ambrose Derry did a comeback. He won it in 2020. He retained that particular seat as well. But when it was Laura oh, Nandom Nando. before 2012, Ambrose Derry won in 2008 mm. alone. But mm. right from 1996, the NDC has been winning as well. In the year 2020, and I want you to pay attention to the margin difference. You see that it's, it's not that significant. That should tell you that every time the NPP has won that constituency, you would always have the NDC having some issues in there. But take a look at this. This is what happened in the presidential election. This is the, the most it's recent election, the 2020 the elections. elections. John Mahama having a dominance in there, 51.94%. As against, even though there was an NPP parliamentary candidate who was right. the incumbent MP, presidential Nanado Dankwe Kufuado lost in that Nandom constituency. You can see the same as well mm. uh, for the parliamentary. Even though John Mahama won the presidential, the NDC's candidate there lost the parliamentary. Mm. It stands to reason that who are, who are the persons going into this year's election, the same Dr. Rochard Kore, how is he going to do it differently? Right. What message is he sending as well? Ambrose Derry is no more a minister of interior. How much of a, an impact will they have in the constituency, especially because of the dynamics, the makeup, and, and also the expressions of the people as we have seen so far? Yeah. So he's seeking re-election, hoping Absolutely. to get a third term. Yeah. And then now we have the NDC putting up a new candidate in the person of Dr. Richard Kuire, mm. who is hoping to be a first-time MP for the Nandom constituency. It's interesting how all of these dynamics have played out, but we indicated that in the presidential elections for the Nandom constituency, it's always been a safe seat for it's the NDC. It's always been the safe seat for, for the, the NDC. NDC. But the parliamentary... So, you know, earlier I had a conversation with uh, Eric Mauna yeah. about the dynamics of whether to vote parliamentary on the same day and he uh, posited that there's a likelihood 
if you do presidential elections first, mm. and we know who the winner is, yeah. it's likely to influence the voting pattern of the people for the parliamentary. However, and if you look at this, if it's a sketch and glass situation, you definitely no, cannot you don't want to, you don't want to that take, take that risk. People will do yes, that. So indeed. I, I, I just like the fact also that the Ghanaian electorate is very woke, um, at least to some extent, True. they understand what they want to vote for. Unlike 92, 96, when people just voted for a candidate because he's from their side yeah. or they just like the person. Absolutely. Now people are a lot more considering, thanks to the likes of Media General, who try to bring you the issues to look at and deal with and True. to vote for who you believe has your interest at hand. That will be it for our coverage today for Election 360. Some of the big stories we brought to you today has to do with the fact that Parliament is being recalled on the 7th of November, and that's the big news, so you might want to follow who goes to the, the majority side or the minority side. You can start ha having that debate while we wait to see what happens on November 7th. Thank you for watching. I am Martin Esiedu Date. Hasta la vista.